thought I'd give you a little update on the news around here. I had to say goodbye to a couple of dogs. Um, Ivy, our 17 year old resident, passed away just last week. And then just before that, about nine days before, Willow got really sick and I had to put her down. So it's been a sad couple of weeks around here. It's a big haul that has been left by those guys, but <laughs> these guys are always here to cheer me up. Thank goodness. I don't know what I would do without them and their silly little faces and heads covered in snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyways, um, I just want to do a little tribute, talk about those guys a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's like, you know, the dogs just sense when you're kind of upset or they just want to disturb you and love the attention because they're attention dogs. Look at her in the back. <laughs> well, guys, we're trying to do something serious here. Okay, go, go play, go play, go get her. Um, we've had a lot of snow lately. It's been crazy. So I, the dogs haven't been out running for a couple days. And um, all I've been doing is plowing and shoveling snow. What is it? April 8th right now. And it's still snowing in winter. Look at that. Look at that behind me. Just winter. Non-stop winter. Anyways, back to uh, today's video. Uh, so yeah, I missed uh, my last weekend video because of what happened with Ivy. Um, had to take her in just a few days before that, so haven't really been up to posting any videos, but um, just need a little break. Um, I'll get back at it though. Just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, each of those guys, and I have some um, pictures I want to share. Just kind of reminisce a little bit about them. So Willow I got from a, a friend uh, who was a musher and had a couple dogs, lived down the highway. And um, I, when these guys were born, I needed a couple leaders to get out dog sledding. So they needed some training because they're not the smartest dogs in the world. <laughs> and so enter Earthling and Willow. They came as a duo and uh, were like best friends. So it was great to have them. They were, Willow was pretty quiet and shy, but just really loved Earthling. And Earthling was more gregarious kind of character is always happy and bouncing around. She passed away a few years ago. And then Willow was kind of left without a little buddy. Uh, until Sadie came along and then Sadie came along and she kind of willow latched onto her and they had a great time exploring the neighborhood the neighborhood the yard my fenced in yard they went uh w Sadie would go wandering around um every day all day and willow would just kind of follow in behind her willow never really liked leaving the cabin she came on walks when I had uh earthling and they would go out together but she never really liked leaving the yard and Sadie's kind of like that too they just really like hanging out here so that's why you don't really haven't really seen Willow on any walks because she just prefers to stay home. So yeah, Willow Willow was a great little buddy to Sadie. Um, Willow ran in the team for a few years. They, her and Earthling led us in a few races that we did early on with these guys. So Pooh Bear is the resident oldie. That thing, I Pooh Bear. Are you the resident geezer? Yes, she is. So. She is, oh, <laughs> just clocked her in the head. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this is actually a funny way to do this really sad video. So yeah, Willow ended up getting really sick and um, had a tumor in her belly, so she had to be put down and um, that, was, that was super sad. Uh, she was great, great addition around here. <sighs> I was happy to have her. Trying to do a tribute here, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Willow was super easygoing, never caused any problems with any other dogs, just got along with everybody. And um, she's definitely gonna be missed around here. <laughs> oh, and then there was Ivy. Uh, this is a fitting way to say goodbye to a couple of my dogs. <laughs> I got Ivy from Alaska, actually. Um, back in 2003, she was born. Some of you know she was 17 and a half years old and uh, just like kept on going. She really never had any issues. Uh, she was never sick or anything. She was a really healthy dog her whole life. And uh, you know, 17 and a half, that's a full, full life. So can't complain about that. Um, but I got her in Fairbanks, Alaska because way back in 
2004 when she was about six months old. It was spring and um, apparently I needed to go drive 10, 12 hours to get a couple dogs because there wasn't enough dogs in the Yukon to rescue. So I got them from a place called the Second Chance League and um, they're, they're a organization that rescued sled dogs and gave them and found them good homes. Ivy and her brother Sage and they were just so freaking adorable. Um, we called them little cow dogs because of their markings. A really special bond those two and they had uh, <laughs> they had a lot of good times together. They were Ivy became the queen of running through ponds. She loved to take her down to the beach and and her brother too. He was really bad for taking off but she never did and so she would come out and just go running through the water and she did that here when we moved here too. So she's the one last dog who remains of mine who was at my old cabin over, you know, 13 years ago when I moved here. So that's pretty, that's pretty epic. So yeah, she and her brother were, they were super fun to train as like little six months old, six month old. Um, took them out with my team and we went into races and, uh, you know, Ivy was so excited. She was jumping all over her brother and a couple of dogs that she really loved were my other two brothers who were named Jack and Harris and they were a couple of the best brothers I ever had. They were just the sweetest dogs. They got along with every other dog and um, I just love them. You'll, you'll see some video here of Ivy playing with them and jumping all over them and she just got so excited. And she was a super fun dog to skijore with. Here's the cow dogs. Look how excited they are. Okay, ready? Wanna go? <laughs> uh, we just left the yard two seconds ago. Okay, guys, ready? Let's go! Come on! <laughs> what do we do? Oh boy, you guys. Hmm. Okay, Sage, come on! Come on, come on guys. There we go, Ivy, good girl. Oh my God, this is getting more and more difficult. Okay, so before I get too upset and start crying on YouTube, um, she's gonna be missed a lot. There's a big hole where she used to sleep, but um, she had a good long life. And hopefully they're both frolicking wherever dogs end up. I hope they're frolicking with their buddies again and uh, having a blast compose myself to say thanks for watching and uh, give your dogs a big hug every day.